All right, this is going to be a short, quick, and sweet, and super easy video. I hope you guys are hanging around a little bit because there's not very many videos like this. But I would really do, I really want to try and make more of these live videos, especially for my YouTube audience, so you guys can see the whole bunch of different things that I do. That's what this channel is about. If I'm not hunting, right, or I'm not doing yard work, or I'm not carving, or I'm doing garbage, <laughs> then you get to see some of the things I'm doing. Now. What? Hopefully you guys can hear me already. I know the sounds can be bad, but I'll tell you why I'm wearing this. You ever see Moana when you see these shells, right? And you see a lot of dancers that have these shells on their earrings or their hair ties. you got to understand that a lot of times these are super rare because there's only a handful of us that still cut these shells here in North America, right? We use these to adorn our outfits, to wear them as earrings or hair ties, uh, like I mentioned, or as gifts. A lot of times in my ways, the Iroquois, Haudenosaunee people, we would use the wampum as a, a form of um, currency. That was the way it was until it became obsolete, and then they started to use a different form of currency afterwards. But it, it's, a, it's, it's really, truly inspired by the old ways of cutting these up and, and everything that's going on. So I want to do this quick live for you guys, so hang out just while I show you and explain what I'm doing now. For conch shells, pink conch shells, they come from the south and the, like the Bahamas and stuff. I have a friend of mine that goes to Jamaica and she gets me a couple shells from there. Um, and at the same time, like you're looking at getting that nice pink color, right? Comparative to something that's not as pink. This is from this exact same shell. I just cut this right here. This the same shell. But you can see the color change. And this is the section that I would want to use right here to make a nice earring. So here's an example of one I messed up on. Right? And here's ones that I'm working on. But look how thick those are. They're just too thick. So a thip, a thing, a thing, a thing. A thin lip shell is much easier to cut through. Now, why these are so expensive? Because one, it takes a long time for the cut. Two, it's because it's toxic. Okay, the dust that comes from shell carving, especially also from rock and stuff like that, what it does is it goes in through the throat, into the lungs, and it solidifies with the actual meniscus liner that's in your lungs, right? And that's, that's, that starts to harden, and then what happens is it has a very difficult time to breathe, and it takes a while for your body to try and flush that out. So having these filters in here to help block that at the same time I have these glasses that are sealed so that I can push them right against my face and I don't have to worry about them. Everything's nice and sealed and I just listen to music at the same time. When you're cutting them, I usually cut with a Dremel or you can use a wet saw, which I'm going to get a wet saw soon, where it's just a table saw that has water in it to prevent the dust, okay, because it's the dust that you're really worried about. I sit in the edge of the garage like this and I have a fan right here. Right here, there's a little fan where it blows all the dust out. And it's a windy day, so I'll only cut them on windy days so the air rushes in, pushes the, the air out. That's the other part here, too. So I'm going to show you an example of just cutting a piece of this, and you can see how long it takes. And then we'll start to... Uh, then I have to get to work because I'm going to shape it. But a lot of people keep asking me about this, and, and I'll show you. But you have to buy special blades. So these little blades on the end, they're special diamond cutting blades and you'll see on the packages they're designed to cut and they're called diamond cutters these ones here uh, i don't have it anymore this one here is a wood cutter so this will go through wood no problem but it won't go through shell because of the way that it's designed so you got to make sure you get and they run anywhere i think they're like 20 or 30 bucks just for the blade the blade alone so each piece is a little bit pricey but in the long run if you're interested in it it does work out to uh, your, to your advantage. So here's the piece right here. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to get as close and personal as I can. I'm going to try and get up right here and see if you guys can see this. I'm going to turn my fan on and then I'm going to cut through this so you guys can see. This is just one of the things that I enjoy doing. I think I enjoy doing because nobody really does it. And because it's really, it's time consuming. It's difficult. There's so many mistakes and it's really toxic for you. <laughs> All right, here we go. On, on.
Okay, and then I'll leave it to the end like that, as you can see. So you can see. And I can, I can break it. Now, I'll make things out of them. Like, see? We'll make different earrings, hair ties. A lot of time it's jewelry. Jewelry is what we make from it. Um, I have a lot of different pieces that I have for me and my wife that I, I we wear in our ears. Um, different intricate pieces that I've carved myself, especially with hair ties. The larger pieces are really harder to get because you got to use a whole shell for it. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick breakdown of, of the type of things I do. And I'll do a more detailed piece a little later on in the future when I start really getting more cutting in. Because I am starting to sit here and get some more carving in. Like an example of doing different dance sticks. I got to fix this because the bone broke. So I got to fix all this. This is a war club that I'm doing. I have these other dance sticks that I'm working on here. So I do dabble in a lot of carving, guys. And I really appreciate you guys. So I haven't forgotten. I've just been so busy. So don't forget about me, guys. And tell people about the channel. Because i got a lot of cool things coming up. Um, but, uh, yeah. So just, just let me know. Just let me know. Hit me up on Instagram and whatnot. And I'll get back to you guys. All right? I gotta get to curving, so thanks for being good. And always tell people about it and like, comment, subscribe, and do all that fun stuff. And we'll see you later. <laughs>